Glenn Morris here from the Smart Energy Lab. I'm here on day two at the Smart Energy Council's Expo in Sydney, and it's awesome. And I'm here with Brett Robinson from Longji. Now, Brett is going to blow your mind about some of the technology in making a solar panel. So tell me about it, Brett. Glenn, thanks for the opportunity to do this. Today, we are launching the HIMO X10 HPBC 2.0 here at the SEC show in Sydney. In many ways, we're, we're going back to the future. We are concentrating on the engineering things that make solar panels reliable in the Australian market. The first thing that we've done is we've improved the ingot facility in our plants. What that has done is it improves the values of the performance of the wafers themselves. So just explain to me what is an ingot? Oh well, an, an ingot is uh, is a uh, is a single silicon crystal that's taken out of a, a silicon bath in our factories. It's it's like taking a almost like creating a candle pulling up out of a, out of a, a, a wax bath. And so the better, the more pure, the more involved you have that process, then the better the wafer is. The wafer is the key to all the production of all solar over the life of the module. And in our product, our wafer now is 16% stronger. It is cleaner and more reliable in the output of the, of the energy over the life of the wafer. So you take an ingot, this big candle-like thing, then uh, you slice it into wafers? Yes, we do. And then what happens next? Uh, we go through a, a, various, uh, a varying process. There's up to 15 processes to take it from a wafer and turn it into a working cell. In this particular case, our tricky part is, is that all the electrical architecture is on the rear of the cell. Now, we've done that for two reasons. The first thing is, is to liberate more energy to be uh, created by more sunlight hitting the surface of the cell. No architecture on the front means more sunlight. The second reason is, is because all the architectures on the rear, the connection between the cells is in a straight line. This generates 50% less stress on the side of the cell and wafer, and 16% less chance of it having micro cracks in those solder joints. Our business is an engineering business with an engineering focus to deliver better, reliable performance over the life of the product. Long as you've been making ingots and wafers for a long time, um, you, you're one of the most mature <laughs> manufacturers of this product. Our, uh, the three engineers that started our business back in 2000 are still involved in the business and they are engineers. They love the concept of pulling single silicon cell out of a bath. So we've been doing the manufacture of ingots and wafers for various industries now 25 years this year. Wow, 25 years, that's, that's a long time in the solar industry. Now, you've got some demonstrations here with, uh, it looks like fish tanks, are you uh, into fish as well? Uh, well, we have given all the goldfish away, but uh, <laughs> but no, seriously, the idea here today is to demonstrate our cell bypass facility for the new X10. And what that means in the real sense is that if you have an obstruction on a cell or by uh, leaf litter or bird droppings, then the rest of the, the, the module still actually operates as normal. The energy bypasses the cells that are obstructed by the bird droppings or, or the leaf litter or uh, the transit, the transit of the, the plumbing pipe uh, across the panel during the course of the day. And what it does is, is that it reduces the temperature of the cell that's being shaded. So we come back to the cell technology again. When you have the cell that is as cool as possible, then it puts less stress on the rest of the panel. So in this particular case, if you have one of our cells shaded in comparison to a Topcon product, ours comes out at a temperature of around 79 degrees C, but the same one on a Topcon product is over 100 degrees C. So that puts so much pressure on the cells and the solder joints all the way around it. The lower the temperature of the cell, the more likely it is that to give you reliable performance over the lifetime of the uh, module on top of your home. Brett, are you able to demonstrate this uh, fish tank uh, example of shading? Absolutely. I'm going to call two assistants to come over and help me. So just a moment. Okay. Okay, so what we have here is a, is a classic demonstration of what happens when you partially shade our new HIMO X10 product. And so what happens is, is it comes across and we have less of a, a reduction in the output of our bubbler. Now, we know this is water technology, uh, but at the end, it's showing what happens when that transit of the plumbing pipe across the, the top of your roof. But we compare this against a standard Topcon product. If you want to, Cleo, take, just put it away. All right, so we have our bubbler going bubble, bubble, bubble. Now we put it on and we see the reduction 
the severe reduction in the output of the of the panel. Oh, looks, now this this, this is sad. <laughs> well, it, it was as technology, it was good in its day. Yeah. But this is the evolution of of our business. Ours is a technology business. Our customers ask us to make more reliable product that performs and gives them more energy. We're in now the time of the full electric home in Australia. We're getting rid of our other, other forms of heating and cooling and we're going to full electrical. And to do that, you need high performing panels and you need reliable panels. And the Longi New X10 is exactly that product. So Brett, you know I love Longi panels because they actually run the Smart Energy Lab. We've got 76 kilowatts of them on a couple of trackers and every day uh, feels like a sunny day with Longi. Well, I've been up there as well and, and uh, what I really like about the site is that uh, the, our panels actually continue to provide reliable power. But what I really like about where Glenn is, is the wombats. <laughs> I love the wombats that visit the site and, uh, and they don't do any, they don't do any um, uh, damage to our panels. So I'm very happy with them. So. <laughs> well, thanks very much, Brett. <laughs> thanks, Glenn. Cheers.